Okay, something else I've been working on. I'm just having trouble buying a, uh, a balanced rotating assembly for all this old stuff and dropping in a $1,400. So I'm figuring out maybe just pistons, just pistons. So right now, I'm working on this right here. I picked, I picked out the roughest ones, the ones that looked like they were in the worst shape, that had the most uh, buildup on them for rust. This is the crank that's been laying under my bench for 15 years. It was in a trunk for another 10 years. Um, but anyway, I was watching on YouTube how to do this, and the guy was using 400 grit. But what I did is I took some 320 grit, got most of the stuff off the rust, then I took some 500 grit and then I measured it and it's at the very bottom limit of its uh, like 2.124 it's supposed to be 2.124 to 2.125 and these are exactly 2.124 when done and this one right here I think these are what 2.0 oh, 2.80 oh, what was it 2.80 five or uh, I can't remember what that was the measurement for that one but anyway this one was exactly the same as this right at the very bottom you got like a thousandth leeway but perfectly straight there's no taper they measure the exactly the same all the way around when done and so being these were the two worst ones I feel like I'm good to go with this crank and possibly I can use this crank I may reuse my stock rods and then just buy pistons for that block the only road, the only roadblock for that will be this ridge and these cylinders. It's a little bit worse than I thought where the ridge is. And I went down, I got my ridge reamer and I'm going to try to take that out. But there is about two thousandths taper with the dial bore gauge. I'm getting about two thousandths taper from where the, it's untouched by a piston up at the very top. Midway it seems okay, and then right at the very top is where it's um, like two thousandths. But I get the ridge out, hone the cylinder, get the cross hatch back in it, then I'll double check, make sure that I'm not out of round, because I don't want to be out of round at all. And if it just has that little bit of taper, two thousandths taper, it would be like a thousandths of an inch per side, I may be able to live with it. So then if I buy some pistons that are close to factory weight like the 116s or the KBs then I may just run this thing on E85 with the good heads 360 block put some boost to it and see how she goes and I'm pretty sure it'll be fine because I'm not going to have detonation and we're going to run fat so uh, everything should hold up I'll have a main girdle on it uh, we should be ready to roll anyway I got some work to do and I'll I'll go through and I'll show like one of them each or one of them when I'm doing one I'll go through and show a little bit of each one how I'm doing it with the old shoestring trick and man it just it's crazy how good they look and how good it works out with 500 grit sandpaper